Gamer, and today we are playing Dangerous Fellows again, and this is episode one, so let's get right into it. Come on, stay focused. The zombies chasing us multiplied in number all of a sudden. At a quick glance, I can see the torn and ragged, ragged fl flesh of their, off their faces. I wish they were slower. With that speed, no one would tell that they are undead. Ah! Oh, please. A firmly closed gate is caught in my sight. I run. O I rush over to push it open in vain. I can't read. A boy with light-colored hair, looking frustrated, steps over to push the door with me. Damn, I told you we shouldn't get involved. Oh, I know who you are. One zombie way faster than the rest is coming very close to us with his arm reaching out. I cringe to avoid getting caught. Oh, come on, please open. With the heavy falling noise, the zombie collapses. Hurry! With no hesitation, a guy with a baseball bat starts pounding the zombie with it. The dark red blood splashes everywhere. Getting a bit braver seeing him down like that, I take a few steps back. I run as hard as I can and fly my body at the door. Ah! Ooh! The door flings open. Both the guy and I fall on the ground and roll over. Cliché. The guy's fighting with the zombies barely make it in as well. Ethan, stop what you're doing. Come on. Nod, nod. <laughs> Get inside. Quick. As soon as the guy with the bat makes it inside, we promptly close the door behind him and lock it. The locking sound gives me some kind of relief, although every inch of my body is sore. Oh, crap. That was close. Arrgh. Clang, clang. The zombies are banging on the metal bars of the gate. We all could have been dead if it weren't for this door. The exact thought of it gives me chills. Are you alright? Uh... Yeah, thanks. Don't mention it. It was all those guys. And you too. We almost died out there. What is that hand? <laughs> alright. Yo, stop being so lame and let's move. <laughs> oh, it is Crowbar. Oh, no, he has like a pipe. Never mind. They all went inside already. One guy who has been staring at us wa wags his finger with the wry face. Guess we're safe for now. I follow the guys who are heading inside. This is the school next door town, right? So, why the heck did we even help her? You almost got us friggin' killed. Hey, be nice. Anyone would have done the same in that situation. So bullcrap. Well, nothing really ever pleases you, pleases you, so... Quit yapping, man. I'm tired. This is all so crazy. Should I say something? Ask each other's names, at least? Oh, okay. I'm Harry. Huh? My, my name, Harry. Did he read my mind? Oh my goodness, he did. He puts his hand out with a kind smile. What's your name? With that smile, his soft gaze looks even prettier to me. He is a pretty boy. I nod and tell him my name. Mickey. It's Mickey. Wow, that's such a beautiful name. Really? Yeah, of course. Wow, he's such a Mr. Positive. I feel a bit shy by his friendliness, so I look away. Oh, all the other guys are coming. What are you all doing here? Introducing ourselves since we're going to have to stay here together. Knowing people's names ain't going to keep you alive here. Don't say that. It's kind of nice that we all met. Nice? Uh. I'm Lawrence. I, can't, I don't know what to do for him. The guy with glasses introduces himself. Lawrence. Lawrence. I'm Mickey. You look like you're in high school. Am I right? Everyone here except for that guy over there is 18. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh yeah? I knew we were about the same age. Was, wasn't there another guy? I turned my head and spot a guy swinging his baseball bat. That's Ethan. Thanks to him, I was able to get away from zombies. Hey, Ethan. He puts his bat down and looks at me. Aren't you going to say who you are? Ethan. Nice to meet you, Ethan. Thanks for saving me back there. Nods. <laughs> Hey. Hey, my name's Zion. No more trouble. I'll try. Hey, Eugene, you gonna introduce yourself? 
Man, I'm not into this. This is so pointless. Well, if, if you don't feel like it. Question? What the? Don't you treat me like a kid? <laughs> Whatever. I told you he was soon to wreck. Okay, fine. My name's Eugene. As you know, I'm one year younger than these guys. That doesn't mean you can think little of me. Let's just hang for a bit and leave. Eugene walks away. I guess he's the attitude guy, but he doesn't seem so bad. Haha, <laughs> Eugene's a bit salty. I'm sorry if you're offended. Wanna come in? That's alright, I guess. The world isn't exactly a nice place either. That is so depressing. Lawrence waves at us, and we follow him into a classroom. I noticed you seem quite uncomfortable around new people. You've been on your own all this time. Oh, um, yeah. I see. Must have been tough. What Harry said has reminded me of people. Mom. Dad. My friends. Where would they be? What would they be doing now? I'm worried, and I miss them. What? Are you crying? Dang it, I didn't save you so you would friggin' cry. Am I crying? I'm leaving if I'm crying. No, I'm just... I'm not usually like this. Oh no, no, I burst out crying and now my entire face is covered with tears. I wipe off the tears of my sleep. Zion, Zion, I almost did Zion's voice for a long time. Um, Zion, come on, don't you think it's too much? She's not the only one having a hard time. You don't think this is hard on us? No one here is without problems, man. Okay, I get it. Everyone just stop. Zion yells and everyone falls silent. What they said is all true. I want to stop crying, but I can't stop feeling sad. I'm gonna punch my own self in the face. Someone starts to pat me on my shoulders. Is it Lawrence? Or it's probably Harry. I knew it. It's alright. It's all good. Don't bottle it up. It's not good for you. Cry it off. Harry reminds me of someone. I can't put my finger on it. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just an who oh, oh, who can't understand people's feelings. I like Ethan. He's not talking. I want him. I want him. Well, the blank is hitting the bed. What? What did that mean? Zion also leaves. I feel terrible as if I had made a huge mistake. I'm just over mellow overwhelmed. I miss my family. I get nervous with all these new people. I'm barely able to stop crying and wipe off my face. Sorry. It's just, I missed everyone all of a sudden. I'm sure they're all fine. You'll definitely see them all again. Thanks, Harry. How about you guys? Don't you miss anyone? Well, I lost my mom to them. Harry, no! I, I sure miss her. I miss my family, too. But I don't think about them much. All I think about now is staying alive. What about you, Ethan? Thank you. I love Ethan. I don't know. Like Zion said, everyone's got a story that's too painful to tell. This is a tough time for us all. As I rest my back against the wall, Thud. The front door opens with a loud bang. Oh, she's so cute! Phew, that was close. Yeah, it really was. Oh, you guys are back? Thank goodness you guys are all right. What's wrong with her nose? A bunch of people walks in looking extremely tired. By the way, they exchange their eye contacts. I can't. I can tell they've been staying with these guys. Did something happen? Lawrence asks the guys who have just walked in. Well, there's also two girls, I think. His voice is calm and gentle, yet it's still powerful. This must be what makes him such a someone like that leader among the rest. Oh my gosh, you guys won't believe this. We were just walking into this convenience store, and all of a sudden these... Wait! You are... Judy? Oh, I know her. I'm drawn by the familiar voice. And I was right. It's my friend Judy. Judy! How did you... I mean, you're all... You are alive! You're, you're okay? Am I dreaming this? I can't believe you're here. I was totally worried about you. Oh, me too. I really missed you. So happy to see her. I walk up to her to give her a big hug. She hugs me back. I feel relieved and now I can't hold my back I can't hold my tears back anymore. Uh what's up with these two? That's a girl too, I think. Hey, I just wanted to check out what they Hey, I just wanted to check out what they brought back. But what's with the soap opera, man? Man, that's it for me for me here. I'm gone. 
Stay calm. Yes, sir. I wouldn't want to die, you know. Eugene clicks his tongue and leaves the classroom again shortly after his return from somewhere. What about the others? Do you know what happened to them? I don't know. You're the first one I met so far. Maybe it's better that we don't know. I want to ask about her friends, but I decided I would wrap but I decided I would rather not. I'm so glad I met you here. Good thing we've managed to stay alive. She's right. I must stay alive and believe that's all my loved ones are alive too. We hold and comfort each other, then we wipe our tears and smile. Um Splu, the sliding door opens unexpectedly. I'm back. Am I too late? Hey. We've all been waiting for you, Scarlet. I noticed all the zombies by the front gate. So I thought I would check them out for a bit. You shouldn't. That's too dangerous. I got a question. A cute looking girl walks in. She must be with these guys too. I decided to say hello to her, but what the? Who is she? She makes a face at me immediately after she sees me. It's more like she's, I mean, I understand. She'll warm up when we get to know each other better. I said, why the heck is she here? That's what I've been meaning to ask. It's exactly what I'm about to do. We helped her earlier. Hi, I'm... You guys are sure she's not infected? I understand the extra caution given the circumstances, but cutting me off like that? Not cool. Oh, it's about to be a girl fight. I walk toward her to tell her I'm not infected, but... Oh my god, she's got blood on her hand. <sighs> Everyone is looking at me with fear. She... See? She is infected. Uh, sorry guys, that's it for today. Oh, that was such an awesome episode. Uh, yeah. Be sure to like this video, comment down below you thought about it, and don't forget to subscribe. I will be playing this, like, every day this week, so, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Bye.